arm lock putting versus traditional putting. If you're considering making that switch, we're going to show you today the advantages and disadvantages of arm lock putting and maybe why it's better for your game. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here from Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. And today we're on the practice green. Uh, we're gonna be looking at arm lock putting. So Thomas, you are an arm lock putter for a couple years now. For those who don't know what it is, maybe just give it a quick explainer and then why it's why there's so many advantages to it. Yeah, so arm lock putting essentially your arm your, your arm is kind of locked up against the, the club here. Now, as long as it's below the elbow height here. It's not pushed against your belly, it is legal. Um, it's been really easy for me to use, especially I don't have the time as a, as a club fitter as much as I used to when I was playing professionally more um, to go out and grind on the, on the putting green. Yeah. With this, I could probably pick this up and go make putts I'm not hitting a putt for a couple months. Well, this is, is a little more fuel related, what I've kind of noticed with a more traditional putter. But I have been having some putting issues recently. Uh, I track my stats every round using the Arcos yeah. um, shots gained and I just kind of noticed the last few rounds, even just looking at the last 10 rounds, that my strokes gain with my putting has been about minus 2.1 versus a plus 4 handicap golfer. Everything else is in the positive. My driving, my approach game, my wedge game, my chipping, everything else is in the positive. But putting has been costing me at least two shots a round. Okay. So, so I this am, is an experiment for you just as much as anybody, right? Yeah. So this is this is kind of an experience because I wanted to just kind of compare the two of them. I wanted to kind of test. I haven't used a shorter putter in a long time. I want to maybe consider whether I need to make that switch here or not, or whether I would stick with an arm lock putter and maybe it's my green green reading skill or my speed skill there a little bit there too. But I have a feeling I could probably still putt pretty well with a standard putter. But I'm just curious to see whether. I should make that switch back or not. Well, I think for me, I, I, like you mentioned, go, uh, putting is a lot of feel, especially with a traditional putting style. And so I know I'm struggling on the greens lately too, uh, doing the traditional method. So maybe for me too, this could be something where I maybe look at arm lock a little more seriously. Um, actually, in the past, I did use a belly putter uh, way back in my junior days before uh, it was you know, outlawed by the rules of golf. So I'm curious to see how this arm lock method goes. Uh, we're gonna hit some putts from a variety of spots and, and lengths and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so for today's test, we are going to be hitting some putts. We're gonna do 10 putts with each style from uh, five and 10 feet. So we're gonna hit a total of 40 putts total. We're gonna look at our stats and see whether we maybe we should consider switching to either yeah. an arm lock putter or whether we should be playing a shorter putter just kind of compare the differences and see if there's one that seems more comfortable or not. All right, I'm ready to roll some putts. Let's do it. You already got me beat by one. You are just killing me here, Drew. That was it's a rough lip out. That's mean, is what it is. Same spot every time, Drew. I'm going just left every just time. Just left. Well, I was also five for 10. All right. Not very good stats. Here you go. One. Definitely Eight. felt very strange in my hands. That's the worst pot of all time. What am I, one for four? Uh oh, still roll this thing good. Wow. That was, that was seven out of 10, I missed three in a row. <laughs> All right, so Thomas, we're 10 putts down with 
you know, 10 with arm lock, 10 with the traditional putter. Um, I know I'm, well, I think we're both maybe disappointed in how we're putting, but um, for me, feedback on arm lock, I, I'm, I mean, obviously not having putt with arm lock before, it's a little bit kind of weird getting used to a grip maybe, you know, getting that putter yep. locked onto your arm, but I could definitely tell that it puts a lot more of the, the putting stroke on the shoulders, right? You're, it's just rocking your shoulders back and forth versus with a standard putter, you, you really have to work to make sure your wrists are kind of inactive and not doing anything. So that's the big difference I can feel. And I felt like the exact same. I felt like I had to work really hard to keep my wrists from not being active with the shorter putter yeah. after putting with this for two years. Yeah. Uh, this putter is a lot heavier. The arm lock putter is a lot heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, felt more stable, but my speed control wasn't very, very good with it. I had a couple there that I kind of pulled a little bit sure. with and it just felt kind of a, a little bit off. Now this, I missed three in a row with, but then I finished really strong with it. I got used to the weight and got used to the feeling of it, and I actually felt pretty good. My, my misses were just that little tendency, just that little pull is what it felt like with the shorter okay. putter. So, so that's two years without using a shorter putter. I made seven out of 10, and I only made five out of 10 with the, with the arm lock putter. So okay. it's definitely something for me to consider there too, but I liked, I liked the arm lock putter. I just have had a hard time of recent date, essentially. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, so I also made five out of 10 with arm lock and four out of 10 with this guy, which is currently in my bag, and four out of 10 from five feet. It's probably not ideal, but uh, now we're gonna move back to 10 feet, see if these numbers change a little bit, maybe if one favors uh, one or the other. So, uh, should we get after it here from 10 feet? Let's do it. Start. One for one. Too much, I'll make more putts from 10 feet than I will from five feet. Really, I'm gonna do that right now? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it short. I was right in the center too. Feels good to make some putts. You know, there's no, there's no reason why I should leave it short. You can hit it 10 feet past and then to miss is a miss. <laughs> I know. Everything is right at the hole. Well, that's seven out of 10 from 10 feet, and only five out of 10 from five feet. That makes sense. Putter. Makes real a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I want to putt well here, but I feel like my stroke's gonna feel really wonky now. Oh! We're in edges today. I like that speed though, that's way better speed. Wow, I made one. That was a good stroke. I don't know why we did this video, Thomas, it's just pissing me off. <laughs> That's, I'm annoyed. Putting <laughs> pisses me off. <laughs> Okay, so Thomas, we're done with our 40 putts. Um, I, that was a frustrating experience for me. Um, but I will say this, I made, I, I felt like my ball was online way more often with an arm lock putter. Now, the speed was my issue, uh, where I was leaving putts a foot short, I was hitting it too far a few times, but the line was always really good. So it's kind of a give and take there, I feel like. You know, if a traditional putter, I think you have, if you have good feel, you're going to be able to get your speed more right, I think, um, in my opinion, and then, yep. but your line might not be as accurate versus arm lock putter. For me, the takeaway anyway is, you know, your line will be probably more accurate most of the time, but your speed control might not be there. Yeah, and I did only give you 10 minutes to get used yeah. to the arm lock putter. You have never really putted with one before. It's heavier, and it's going to feel like you have to, you just need to rock the shoulders just a little mm -hmm. bit more and kind of, and, and trust that it's going to get to the hole. Um, for me, I made the exact same amount of putts with a long putter and with the short putter. For me, the interesting thing was with the traditional putter at 34 inches, I made seven out of 10 five footers. And then I made five out of 10, uh, 10 footers. With the arm lock putter, I made seven out of 10, 10 footers. So I made more putts with the arm lock putter from, from, from five feet further away, which that, is really kind of yeah. interesting. And I made five in a row to start with and I missed three and I made two to finish with. Um, it's once you get yourself lined up in your speed, it is definitely, it simplifies things for yeah. sure. It takes your hands out of play. 
Um, I'm definitely considering going back to the shorter putter. I just need to put some more time into it because I do feel like I can be more of a field player. I had a tendency to tug the ball with this short yeah. with this. I think every putt that I missed was like a little pull left with it. Just not used to it. I think I was just kind of flipping the hands at it. Maybe I'd try a little left hand low with it there mm -hmm. too, just to kind of see. But so um, in total, you went 12 for 20 both, correct? Is that yes. the math on that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so 12 for 20 with both. Yes. Okay. So for me, arm lock the five footers. I went five for 10, and then I went four for 10 with the short putter here, and then. From 10 feet, I went three for 10 with arm lock and two for 10 okay. with short putter. So um, those numbers aren't are good either way, but I was more online for sure with the arm lock putter and uh, I was burning a lot of edges today too. But it's interesting. I mean, I think that's the takeaway here uh, was for me is exactly what I said. You know, you're online, I think. If you get it right in your setup, um, you get used to it a little bit. Arm lock putter puts you online a lot more often. It's just, for me, the, the speed control was the one piece that I was losing a little bit with arm lock, I think. Yeah, there's there's less variables that you have to think about. You're, you're, you're literally locked in here, and all you gotta do is kind of feel like you kind of rock the shoulders mm -hmm. with an arm sure. lock putter. With the, with the short putter, there's a lot of this can go on, a lot yep. of kind of pulling and everything like that, and I for sure noticed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, it wasn't bad, but I could definitely notice my misses were right off the club face, I knew it was left. Yeah, well, so golfers may be watching this. If you're using a traditional putter, an arm lock is uh, maybe a route you wanna go. Second swing is a place to go to. Uh, one of our five store locations, or you can schedule a putter fitting uh, online or in one of our stores as well. And one of our experts will take care of you, introduce you to Arm Lock, let you try it out, and see if that's better for your game. So, Thomas, thanks for our little drill today. I know I learned some things, and I might go to Arm Lock here. So, uh, but thanks for joining today. Yep, not a problem.